So this building I was walking by, I noticed it says Channel 2 on it. Yeah, I remember this little building over here too. This is where, I don't know if they're still here, but this is where the local Channel 2 News affiliate was. But yeah, when I was a sophomore in high school, I did a job shadow where we went and we were on AM Northwest, which is just, you know, an AM morning show. And it was in this building. Yeah, because I remember. Oh man, everything friggin' makes sense now. I literally just accidentally started the video I was gonna do. So now I'm all disoriented. Let me get a hold of myself. <sighs> okay, so just to clarify, uh, when I was a sophomore in high school, I had a job shadow uh, where we were on an episode of Ann Northwest morning TV show, and we actually appeared on camera a few times as members of the audience, talked to the people afterwards, it was pretty cool. And yeah, it all happened right here. I was about to start another episode of, I don't know why I'm sounding so happy, because this is about to get real sad, another episode of what I'm calling Disappearing Portland. And what happened was, I was looking at, you know, this building here, the Channel 2 News building, but the place I was going to go to to do my Disappearing Portland thing is right there. <laughs> this tiny little cute nook which is going to be destroyed, I believe, so they could put ugly, I'm assuming ugly apartments here, casting into the sky, uh, was known as Club 21. That's what it said on the sign It's no longer here. This place, um, it's February 10th when I'm filming this today, so this has been closed for almost a month. This building was built in 1929 and has always served as a restaurant, bar type place, some fashion or another. And that's what it was when it finally closed down on January 15th of this year. Yeah, it's too bad. It's, it's such a cute, quaint little place. Like, it almost looks like a house. But like a house you'd see in, like, Northern Europe. And I really wanted to come here. I found out this place was closing about two weeks before it did. I wanted to come here and actually do a video on the 15th, like go and have a drink and do like a, hey, this is the last day, this place is gone, but just constantly too busy. So it just didn't happen. But yes, it is official. They are going to tear this cute little piece of paradise down so they can build, from what I've heard, um, apartments. And again, like I said before, they will probably be ugly. They couldn't be as cute as this place. And it's already been super tagged up. That happens a lot in this area. Yeah, and there I think there was actually an electric sign right here that said Club 21. Uh, John Hall lives. I don't know if that has anything to do with this place or not, but yeah, you've come through this little, this little cute little entryway. It's also been tagged. There's good old John Hall again. Obviously, you know, it's all closed and locked up. You can see through the peephole. I don't see nothing. Hey, but they complied with sanitation regulations. Um, but yeah, just look. Oh man, this light's still all this cute little light. This probably just illuminated this. Imagine this being, you know, red and then this kind of orangish light. It's probably really illuminated things in here. I'm actually kind of surprised there isn't like a homeless person sleeping in there. That's kind of a cozy little nook. Yeah, you can tell here's, you know, chimney. Here's where I'm assuming windows were that have been blocked out. It's so interesting. It looks like it's been closed up for a long time, but it has only been about three and a half weeks. So, yeah, there, ha there has been somebody living back here at one point. No shocker. And, yeah, they see they still have this, uh, this kind of backside gathering place. business was like. I don't know what their clientele was, but I mean, how could you not like a place like this? So I'm wondering, is this the, is this the rest rooms, maybe? Uh, it's kind of interesting that they would have outdoor restrooms. I mean, again, this could be 
just about anything. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a get a look through one of these holes. Um, no, it's like electrical stuff. Oh, watch out, son. I'm assuming this is probably the same thing. Yeah, hot water heater. What do we have here? Propane and propane accessories. Yeah, look at this. This is just kind of, kind of busting out. This is, this is not charming at all. It's one of these. Oh man, look at this. See, this is how you know this place is old. And a lot of old windows, they use this kind of rope gear mechanism to kind of pull it up and down. So that's actually, that's, that's really cool. And as we complete the wraparound trek, you know, it didn't take long to get around this whole thing, but this was it. So this is, you know, uh, Club 21, as you know, it was last known as. Soon to be nothing but memories. And that was Club 21. Well, it was good knowing you for as shortly as I did. It's a shame to see something so cool like this just vanish because of, quote, progress. But, yep, that'll do it for another, another short on Vanishing Portland. This has been Steve, the Amateur Historian, and I'll see you next time.